If I pull a foil, we open a legacy pack. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video we have a booster box worth of Burst of Destiny and I know every single pack will have a foil in it, but we're doing everything ultras and secrets and up. If we pull any of those, we will open a legacy pack. And this time these are not just like the reprint legacy packs, we have Pharaonic Guardian Blisters, we have First Edition Hobby Power of the Duelist, and we have a McDonald's Pack 1. All of this stuff can potentially be open in this video, but before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep First Edition Booster Box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know which you want to see the most out of these, McDonald's Pack 1, Power of the Duelist, or Pharaonic Guardian, and how many foils do you think we'll pull? Wait a second, have you guys ever tried to watch a TV show, but it was unavailable in your country? Or have you ever used public Wi-Fi? Uh, well, one time I was trying to watch my favorite show, Naruto Shippuden, and then my sister took the remote, so then I had to tell mom, but then when I took it back, I realized it wasn't even available in the US, so then I got mad at my sister because she took my show. Okay, uh, then you need Surfshark VPN. But Ruxin, why would I need Surfshark VPN? Well, Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network that encrypts your internet activity, protects your personal data, is available on unlimited devices, and it lets you access Netflix in 15 different countries if you can't find the show that you want, and not just Netflix, other things as well. It even lets you bypass blocked websites and apps so you can access whatever you want. Wow, do you think it would let me block my sister from taking the remote? That's gotta be expensive. I don't know about that first part, but uh, you're in luck. Surfshark has an awesome 83% off deal when you buy a 24 month plan. And if you use my link or click the QR code right here, you can get three months for free. Just download the VPN via my link or scan the QR code and use code RUXON34 like you see on the screen. Just try it out and if you find a better VPN option, Surfshark has a 30 day money back guarantee. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, let's do it! Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, it's time to get into the opening. We have 24 Bursts of Destiny booster packs. A lot of amazing cards that we can pull in here, including Starlights. So hopefully that happens, because a Starlight, that'd be a bonus Legacy pack that we would open up. So not only would we get a Starlight, we would also get another Legacy pack, which would be pretty cool. So let's see what we can do. Magic Key Battle, we got the Abyss Keeper, the Penguin Squire, Destiny Hero Denier to start it off. So that is just Super Rare. While it is a foil, but it is basically not anymore now that they've made Super Rares in every single pack. Basically, I think there's like Legendary Duelist doesn't have them in every pack. So uh, I guess in that case, it wouldn't it wouldn't be, uh, you know, the new thing. So Pingo Squire, we've got the uh, Gunkin Su Ship. Very cool. Magical Cylinders. A lot of cards that I would really like to pull in here, like Starlight Stratos and stuff like that. DPEs in here, of course. Gunkin Su Ship and the uh, Sword Soul stuff. Branded in red. I think this is actually a few dollars for this card. So it's a good Super Rare. It doesn't count as a foil, but it's a nice Super Rare. So we will take we got the penguin ninja launch trap and magic key locking so okay it's a little bit of a slow start back to back but brandon and red's actually a pretty good card i think it's a couple bucks uh, i don't think it's too insane but it's definitely worth it a little bit mimicking man eater bug nice we got the flunderies and token heritage of the light we got the flip frozen the double disruptor dragon very nice very cool okay all right very nice oh sword soul blackout by the way this card i think is uh worth a few bucks as well so we'll pull that out <laughs> And by the way, we will be opening up Power of the Duelist this week uh, whenever we can get, not Power of the Duelist, Power of the Elements. Power of the Duelist is right there. We will be opening that this week as well, right now, hopefully. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna be opening up Pote later on, so it's gonna be pretty fun. Ice Jade Tanola, whenever we can, you know, as soon as possible. Gemini's Lord Gold Knight, the DD Assault Carrier. Sunvine Sewing. Okay, where are the foils, guys? Where are they? Because we are 0 for whatever so far. It's a slow start. We will have some legacy packs at some point, I think, you know, unless this is an all super rare box. Let's go. Mimicking Man Eater Bug, another wild card. Penguin Cleric. Sign at Crosswipe. We got the Giant Starfall. And Flounderies and the Scary Sea. Very nice. Fangly. And the Danger Disturbance Disorder. Very nice. What's up with the next one? Burst of Destiny. Let's go. Let's pull something epic. Will it be a starlight? That'd be pretty nice out of a random pack. Ice Jade, the Giant Starfall, Gemini's Lord. Ooh, and a Boral Code Dragon. So we've officially pulled a foil. Finally, we got a Boral Code Dragon. Is this the cover card? I didn't think I, I don't think I knew that actually. Cover card. All right, that's pretty nice. We're going to be opening a legacy pack, but which will it be? We're about to find out. And how will we find out? We're gonna be rolling a die, and this is the new Dark Magician die, which is pretty amazing. So one, two is gonna be Ferrana Guardian, three, four is gonna be Power of the Duelist, and five, six will be the McDonald's pack. Let's see what we get. 
four. So we're going to open up a Power of the Duelist pack. I'm going to just grab another one that I have just so we don't have to mess with the background. First edition hobby pack. We could pull Chimera Tech. Uh, over Dragon Ultimate Rare, we could pull the Dark Neos, the Flare Neos, all that stuff could potentially be in here. And hopefully it will be, because that'd be pretty amazing. I'd be down to pull it. Let's go. Let's see if we can get something good. All right, and by the way, if we do pull a foil out of here, that counts as a foil. So we re-roll again. We get to open another Legacy back. Rallis of Starbird. We got the Alien Skull. Royal Rid of Taxation. The Sabersaurus. Alien Gray. We got the Viacroy Connection Zone. Fossil Activation. And... Baby Sarasaurus and Cosmic Horror Gangiel. Okay, so that is just a, uh, yeah, that's just a rare. So that does not count as a foil. But if we do actually pull foils out of the Legacy Packs, we will get to open another one, which is pretty cool. So they can kind of stack and keep going. Magical Cylinder, Sign at Crosswipe. This could, video could technically never end if we just keep pulling foils. Pretty pretty amazing. Sword Soul Assessment, the Sign at Cascade, Supernatural Danger Zone, okay, and the Cupid Pitch. So nothing in there. So, so far, just one. We did get the cover card, Ultra Rare, which is not bad. I think there's usually four Ultras and two Secrets. We'll see if that's the case. We'll see if we get a Starlight. That's obviously not one per box. Giant Starfall, Gunk and Sioux Ship, Break the Destiny. Stained Glass of Light and Dark. Okay, that's kind of sick artwork. Okay. Very nice. We'll take that. So one for whatever, like eight now at this point. So there should be a lot of foils coming at this point. What shall we get? Ice Shade Tanola, Gemini's Lord. DD Soul Carrier, Mimicking Man Eater Bug, Sword Soul Strategist Long Yana. That's a good card for Sword Souls. Very nice. We will take that all day. Ultra Rare, Super Sick card. Now we get to roll with the die once again. What will we get? A five. We're opening our one McDonald's pack. We only have one. Will it have my favorite card, or one of my favorite cards, Millennium Shield inside? Let's see. There's only two pack or two cards in here, so I don't really know the best way to open these. I don't know where the. I don't know which way it's pointing. Okay, so I think the front will be the back of the card. Yeah, okay. The McDonald's pack opening. You don't see these very often. Will it be at the front? I can't remember. Let's see. Okay, Megasonic Eye. I don't think it's at the front. So the Megasonic Eye is made of mysterious metal. This monster is a doomsday machine from the edge of the universe. Very cool. And... Flying Penguin, actually a really good common out of here. It's actually pretty valuable. But as you guys can see when they're in those like Pop-Tart packs, it like gets a line right down the middle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, line right down the middle on it. But pretty amazing commons though. Definitely, you know, some of our coolest pulls so far, even though they're only commons. All right, let's keep going. Two foils have been pulled. Not bad. Unfortunately, no uh, Millennium Shield there. That would have been pretty amazing. Rebuild Deer. We got the Reptilian Kotal. We got the Gungansu Ship. The Heavy Interlog. Just a super rare. Wow. Okay. These are really testing me. They're like, okay, we're going to we're gonna take a while to show up. These foils. No secret rares so far. So hopefully like a Mogi or something cool like that. Gungansu Ship. We've got the Break the Destiny. Here it is the Light. Reptilian. Malusine. All right. Okay. So it's all blackout again. Another decent common. We're taking that all day. Burst of Destiny. Give us something good. Sinek Crosswipe. Sinek Cascade. Magic Key Battle. Sonic Tracker. The Bayonet Punisher. Wow. Okay, I did shuffle up these packs, and you can really tell because two Ultras so far. That's it. I bet we're like halfway through the packs. We have a Gunkin Sushi Ship Uni. We got the Apex Predator. The Reptilian Kotal. The Rebuild Ear. And Magic Key Fiend. Another super rare. Unbelievable. This is crazy. 11 packs. So we're 13 packs in with two Ultras. This is wild. Saving the best for last. That's how we do it. We got the uh, Mimicking Maneater Bug. Flounderies and Token. Not the Flounderies, please. Heritage of Light. We got the Flip Frozen. Sword Soul Sacred Summon. Another decent Sword Soul card. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. Nothing to worry about here. Just 10 packs to go. We've only pulled two foils. I mean, technically, past supers. Will we get something good? I mean, I believe we can do it. Heritage of Light. We got the Flip Frozen. Will it be a Starlight? Sonic Tracker. We got the Flounderies and Token. Okay, Floor is an Impin. That's not too bad. At least it's not the, uh, you know, the uh, the Snowl or whatever. That's the one I always seem to pull. Impin's actually pretty decent. I don't know the value on it, but Secret Rare Impin, and that is indeed a foil. That's pretty nice. We'll take that. All right, now, 1, 2, 3 is now Ferrana Guardian and uh, 4, 5, 6, Power of the Duelist. Let's see what we can get. Power of the Duelist again. So no Ferrana Guardian yet. Are we going to open Ferrana Guardian today? I don't know. We've got a couple more chances to get something. Will we get an ultimate rare? Will we get a foil at all? Because a foil opens us another pack, which would be pretty crazy. Miracle Jurassic Egg. Alien Skull. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments if you like these kind of videos where we do like openings and then we can open potentially older packs if we, uh, you know, get the uh, foils or whatever. Rallis the Starbird. Wonder Garage. We got a Baby Sarasaurus. Contact. Crystal's Dolphin. And 
D chain. Another D chain. All right, that's just another rare. Okay. Hopefully those uh, those old packs are gonna give us something, guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it. Okay, Abyss Keeper, DD Soul Carrier. We got the Ice Jade Tanola, Giant Starfall, the Magic Key Fiend. Okay, so we're still at what three foils total out of there. It's another Sword Soul Blackout, by the way, which is pretty good. I actually don't know if that's like money, but it is a good card, so I assume it's a common that you only use one of, so maybe it's not worth a dollar. Reptilian Coda. We got the Gun Consu Ship, the Night Flight, uh, Ultimate Flagship Ursar Ursatron. All right, Ursatron. Very cool, very sweet. Still, what, seven packs left? Seven packs left. We still have three potential foils in here. The weirdest, like, way these are these foils are coming out. It's very slow. Okay, Gunkin Sue Ship. This has to be one, right? Oh, and the Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Yes, indeed, it does have to be one. Secret rare. Unfortunately, this is, you know, not as much as it used to be, but we're going to be searching for this guy out of Power of the Elements. We are opening packs until we get it, I think, so it's going to be pretty epic. Starlight rare. I really like the secret rare of this. It looks amazing as well, so the artwork on DPE is awesome. I think that's another reason it's really cool, even though, you know, people are not super happy about the starlight. Oh, wait, we got to roll, but uh, I still think it's cool. Let's roll. Let's see what we get. Another Power of the Duelist. This is crazy. We can't get uh, Ferrana Guardian yet. DPE, that's a sick pull, though. That's super sick. I'm very happy about that. DPE is pretty amazing. All right, one, two, three, four. Will we get an ultimate rare Bitlon? Destiny Mirage, Destiny or Blade Master, the Crop Circles, Orbital Bombardment, Black Terra, Synthetic Seraphim, Ambulance Rescue Roid, and Spell Calling. No, give us a foil. Power of the Duelist. Come on, man. All right, we have seven, six more packs, six more packs. We have not opened a Ferrana Guardian yet, which is pretty wild. Night Flight, we got the Apex Predation, we got the Penguin Cleric, Outstanding Dog Mary, Fluundries, the Magnificent Map, like crazy good card, okay. That's one of the best cards in this set, for especially for Ultras, so another foil, and it's a really good one. So this box has been actually really, really nice, like some great pulls. Let's roll the die again, will it be one through three? It is a two, we're indeed gonna be opening Ferrana Guardian. All right, turn away if you don't like blisters being open. This one is the most, one of the most beat up ones. So we're gonna open this up. Can we get something amazing out of Ferronic Guardian? Let's see what we can do. First edition pack. Let's go. Wait, what is going on down here? I've never noticed this purple on Ferronic Guardian, but apparently it's oh, it's the it's the Hell Palmer. It kind of looks like Labyrinth of Nightmare. I've never noticed that. I was like, wait a second, did we just open like a misprint? We didn't, fortunately. So it's all good. It's just Hell Palmer's like got dress or whatever that thing is. So let's see if we can pull something amazing. Ferrana Guardian First Edition. There's some great commons in here that we could pull, so let's hope we do. Soul Eater, a living wonder of mystery. You love to see it. That's pretty awesome. Arsenal Bug. We've got the Royal Tribute. Very cool. Raigeki Break. That's a really good common. I mean, that's great in a lot of formats. Old formats, of course. Cry you well. Buster Rancher. We got the Poison Mummy. Call of the Mummy. Okay, come on. Can we get can we get some uh, crazy commons here? No, we can't. This is the last card. Statue of the Wicked. It is indeed a foil. Wait, this seems like kind of bent up for some reason. I think this one took a little bit of a, a little bit of a beating in the pack, but it's not too bad. It's definitely cool to be a super. That's a foil. We got to reroll for uh, for packs. We're going to be opening more, guys. More old packs. Here we go. Time to roll again. Another five. We got Power of the Duelist coming up. Let's go. What will we pull? Power of the Duelist. I believe that we can do this. We can pull something amazing, something epic, something awesome. What will it be? Will it be an ultimate rare? Let's go. We got Destiny Mirage, Bitlon, Decoy Roid, Mausoleum of the Emperor, Alien Gray, D Spirit, Flying Saucer, and oh, next one. We got Elemental Hero Neos, Common Guard, amazing, and Neo Spation Flare Scarab Super Rare. I used to have this one back in the day. I still have that actual same card, actually, but classic for sure from GX. You guys know what this means. Another epic foil, or another epic old opening. We have a one. We're opening another blister. Here we go. This guy has some edge wear for sure, so blister, be gone. By the way, before I open all these blisters, if you want to buy some, I have some available on ruxin34.com, but, you know, the longer they sit there, the long, more likely it is that we open them up in a video, which, that's a win-win for you guys. If you don't buy them, you know, you get to watch them open, so let's see what we can pull. Will it be amazing? I still have that upside down blister though. That one's not getting opened. That one will not be open. All right, one, two, three. Look at the centering on this. It's almost gone. That's insane. 
Okay, let's pull another foil. Can we get three in a row? That would be insane. Master Kianchi, we've got the Soul Eater, a living wonder of mystery, and he barely has any uh, any centering there. Arsenal Bug, Royal Tribute. Oh, we got the Ruxin Special Pass, the Molten Behemoth. Don't forget him. D Tribe, Bird Face, the Rite of Spirit, and Wing Sage Falgos. I thought there was another foil. I was like, wow, that was three in a row. Okay, two two in a row is not bad though. All right, five packs to go. What? We have at least one more foil, right? At least one more. Possibly two. If we get a Starlight, that'd be crazy. Knife Light, Magical Cylinders. We got the Cyanet Crosswipe. Sword Soul Assessment. Gunkin Sushi Ship, Uni Class Super Dreadnought. That is a mouthful right there for the sushi ships. Four packs to go. What can we pull? Will it be epic? Let me know in the comments if you guys have enjoyed this epic. Uh, if you pull a foil, we open a legacy pack video, mimicking a man eater bug. B Trooper Light Flapper. Okay, this is not a good ultra rare, but that's okay because we got a really good one already and we got a great secret rare, so we can't really complain. Ultra rare, but that does activate our die. We got to roll it up and see what we can get. Will it be Front Guardian? Will it be Power of the Duelist? Veronica Guardian. We're ending it off with a blister if this is the last foil that we open. Here we go. First edition pack. Third blister we've destroyed today. I know. This is sacrilegious. Not going to lie. It's pretty bad. But we're still enjoying the opening. Let's see what we can pull, guys. First edition Veronica Guardian. Here we go. Let's pull something amazing. Two, three, four. Different Dimension Capsule. Swarm of Locusts. Secret Pass to the Treasure. Very cool du dual links card. Oh, man. Well, we're choked up. Dice Jar. Very nice. That's uh, like three bucks, I think. Man with the Widgeot. Oh, we got a little bit of a uh, ding there and weird centering. Cabazals. The Card Shuffle. Okay, is the next card? No. A Claw Scorpion. Will this be Secret Rare? Ultra Rare? Anything? Let's go. Doc Designator. No, no foil this time. Okay. Unfortunate, but we did get a Dice Jar, which is actually a pretty nice pull, so we'll take that. Three packs to go. Will one have another foil or a Starlight? A starlight would be pretty cool. That would really amp this video up because we get a Starlight and then we'd open another Legacy pack. So that'd be cool. We got a Token, Abyss Keeper, Fluendaries, and the Dreaming Town. Okay. Dreaming Town. Very cool. Two packs to go. Burst of Destiny. Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, where it should have originally been a Starlight, but it's not. Outstanding Dog Mary. Ice J Tanola. Break the Destiny. Brandon in High Spirits. Okay, just a super rare there. And the final pack. Is this going to have a Starlight in it? We're going to do a little pack trick on this one. Because it's the final pack. We don't want to reveal the Starlight. Here we go. Two, three, four. Gunk and Sue Ship. Transonic Bird. Undaunted Bumpkin Beast. Bumpkin? I've never seen that. Detonation Code. That's crazy. Penguin Cleric. Sign at Crosswipe. We've got the Giant Starfall. Sword Soul Assessment. And... Flow Under Reason Robina. Oh, no. Not this card. Not this card. No. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.